This video will show you how to set up and connect an N310 USRP to MATLAB. You'll use the radio setup wizard that comes as part of the wireless test bench support package for NI USRP radios. These steps will apply to the 2023B release of MATLAB and may be applicable in later releases. If you don't have the support package installed already, follow the link below this video to do that now. After going through the setup steps shown in this video, you will be able to start detecting, capturing, and transmitting data using your N310 and wireless test bench. The radio setup wizard allows wireless test bench users to set up several types of USRP radios to use with wireless test bench. Visiting the wireless test bench product page on mathworks.com will provide you a complete list of supported devices. This video will guide you through setting up an N310, but for the other types of supported USRPs, the installation steps are very similar. Let's begin. The radio setup wizard can be accessed after installing the wireless test bench support package for NIUSRP radios, but it can also be opened later by running the following command radio setup wizard in the command line or via manage add-ons which can be found by clicking on the drop down menu beneath the add-ons button in the matlab home tool strip once you've opened the wizard you will find yourself on the radio management page select usrp n310 from the drop down menu in the setup radio section then click the setup button which will take you to the beginning of the setup SD card steps. Select the option to set up a micro SD card. There is an option to skip the micro SD card setup but this only applies if you already have a micro SD card set up using this radio setup wizard. Micro SD cards set up using any other application even ones from MathWorks will not work. Clicking next will take you to a new panel where you will download and validate an SD card image. Under step one, select download to start the download of the SD card image. Your internet browser will open to download the image. If your browser is already open, you should see the download begin there too. The download can take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once the download is complete, click the Browse button under Step 2 and locate the downloaded zip file. If you've previously downloaded and extracted the image or been sent it by a colleague, it may be a .sdimg file. Once you've selected the correct file, click on Validate. This can also take a few minutes to complete. Once the validation is complete, click Next, and the next step will be to load the validated image onto a micro SD card. Insert your micro SD card into your computer's SD card reader, use an SD card adapter if necessary, and click Refresh. Pick the correct disk from the drop-down menu and then click Next. The next steps are to write the SD card image, also known as firmware, onto your micro SD card. Click Write to write the SD card image to your micro SD card. A warning will pop up. Click Yes to proceed. If you don't have admin privileges on your Windows device, you will be asked to grant permissions. Two permissions messages will then pop up. Click to accept or allow and the write will begin. In Linux, you'll need to be part of the sudo group and you'll be asked to enter your password. Depending on your computer's specs, this can take as long as 30 minutes to complete. After the write completes, click next. In the next part of the wizard, you'll be setting up your network connection. If you previously selected to skip the SD card setup, this is the point you get taken to. In the Select Link Configuration panel, select the type of Ethernet port and connectors you'll be using to connect your USRP 
to your computer from the drop-down menu. Use the images shown to help you identify what kind of port you have. One gigabit ethernet is most commonly used in PCs. If you only have a single ethernet port that is required for internet access, you can try to use a USB 3 to ethernet adapter. Alternatively, consider getting a 10 gigabit ethernet network interface card installed in your PC to get higher data transfer rates. After selecting, click Next. In the next step, you will physically connect your N310 to your host computer. If you selected the one gigabit ethernet in the previous step, you'll need an SFP to RJ45 adapter for the RJ45 ethernet cable. Follow the steps to connect your USRP to your host computer, then click Next. Now you'll configure the connection between your USRP and host computer. Select the Ethernet port you'll be using from the drop-down menu and click to apply default values. If you don't have admin privileges on your Windows device, you will be asked to grant permission. In Linux, you'll need to be part of the sudo group and you'll be asked to enter your password. Once the connection is correctly configured, the status message will read, host IP address set to default value. Once you've selected your network connection, there are some optional manual steps you can do on your Windows computer to optimize performance of the connection. See the reference information for the radio setup wizard in the wireless test bench documentation for more information. Click next and you'll be taken to the validation page. Click validate radio setup to start the validation. This may take a few minutes to complete. During the validation, the wizard will be validating the host IP and radio address configuration to check that the radio and the host computer can talk to each other. Validating the radio file system image to check that the device is configured with the correct software and hardware images. It will be running the host OS optimization, which ensures the optimal configuration of settings on your host computer. If it finds any problems, it will help you to fix them. And finally, it will be sending and receiving a test signal with the radio to ensure that it is transmitting and receiving. Click Next when the validation is successfully complete. You'll then get a chance to name your radio configuration. This is the name you will use to access your device from Wireless Test Bench. Click Save and the wizard will let you know when the setup is complete. If you close and reopen the wizard, you'll be able to see and manage all your saved radio configurations via the radio management page. Or type radio configurations in the command line in MATLAB and you'll also get a list of all the radio setup configurations that you have saved using the radio setup wizard. Now that you've set up your radio, you'll be able to use it with Wireless Test Bench. Visit the Wireless Test Bench documentation page. Click on the Examples tab and open the Capture from Frequency Band example in MATLAB. Update the example so your radio configuration that you just created is selected for use. Then, run the example and see what you are able to capture. This video has shown you how you can work through the radio setup wizard to set up an N310 USRP and connect it to a host computer. Once you have successfully set up your USRP, try to use it with the wireless test bench examples at mathworks.com forward slash help forward slash wireless test bench.